Hi, this is Francis from A Plus Tutoring. In this session, I'm going to show you how to show the inverse matrix. In the question here, it's given that A, B, and C are all square matrices. Suppose that A, B, C equals to I, the identity matrix, then we need to show that A, B, and C, they are all must be invertible. So if they all must be invertible, then meaning a, b, c equals to i. So if you just group this b and c together, so it will be a times a minus 1 equals to i. Meaning what? Meaning a inverse equals to b, c. Because b and c, they exist, right? And if you multiply them together, and that will give you a inverse. Okay, so A inverse exists. Now I have to show that C inverse exists. Same thing here. You have ABC equals to I. So I group this as my C inverse. So this is C inverse times C equals to I. So C inverse must be equals to A times B. Therefore, C inverse exist. Now how about B? B is a little bit more complicated. So let me do it on the next page. So I have A, B, C equals to I. If I multiply A inverse on both sides, so A inverse A, B, C equals to A inverse I. The order matter a lot in the matrix multiplication, so don't mess up the order. So if you multiply the A inverse in the front, you have to multiply in the front on the right side as well. So this equals to I, so I have BC, because A inverse and A cancel out, right? So I have only BC equals to A inverse, because I is just like one, right? You just merge it with the A inverse. Now I want to get rid of the C. So I have B, C times C inverse equals to A inverse times C inverse. Okay, so I have something like this. And this is going to give me C and C inverse cross out. I will have left with B equals to A inverse, C inverse. So you can actually simplify this by doing so. B equals to C times A inverse. Because I know both A and C, they do have the inverse, so I know that B must exist. And how do I find that if B has also an inverse? So let's do this by applying inverse on both sides. Inverse inverse will just cancel out. So B inverse must be equal to C times A. And I know that C times A is a matrix that exists, so I know that B inverse also exists. Therefore, B inverse exists. And I've shown you A inverse exists, C inverse exists, B inverse exists. For more information about inverse matrix, please visit my website go4aplus.com.